Hi, how's it going? Welcome to this week's episode of Enhancing the Human Experience. On today's episode, I'm going to share with you a story about something that happened to me this past week uh, about why it's really so important to live in the end and think of the big picture and always operate from our end goal or from the the events and scenarios that we ultimately want to create in our lives. And this is something that I think we're always kind of approaching and always um, dancing around and and sometimes it can be challenging to actually go to that place, especially if there feels to be a big gap between where we are and where we want to be. And my hope is that you can take away from this story something that will help you do that in your own life. You know, we're all building something. We're all building and working towards our hopes and our dreams. And I think sharing each other's experiences can help us, you know, sharing and hearing each other's experience can help us do that in a more effective way. Because, you know, we we can learn from something from another person's experience. We don't have to do that ourselves. And so my hope is that you will will learn from this. And essentially, the story revolves around the online store that I'm creating to share the messages, the same kind of stuff that I really share on the podcast. You know, my goal is to share inspiring, encouraging, uplifting information and knowledge that will really help you create the experiences that you want to have in life and enhance your life experience overall. Um, one of the things that I have had on my plate for quite some time and is is now come to fruition is this online store where you can purchase products and apparel that are really kind of unlike stuff you get at the store. You know, they, they do have the messages, they have the uplifting, um, inspiring messages on them, and really re- they're reminders of what we need to do, how we need to do it, how we need to be, um, ideas, concepts that we can reaffirm every day when we wear these things, you know, whether it's a hat or a shirt or a mouse pad, stuff like that. So I really feel really passionate about this because if there's one thing I've discovered on my own journey is that we can never be reminded too often or too frequently about who we are, what we're here to do, the power that's within us, because our mind is always wanting to go into the groove or the conditioned consciousness that we've built up over the years, right? And this is where when we change ourselves, we're, we're really changing the direction of our of our thought and our feelings. And sometimes it can be an abrupt change. I really look at it like turning a big ocean liner around and making a 180. That can be challenging if you try to crank the wheel and do it all at one time, whereas it's a lot easier to do it in a gradual, steady motion, and you're not going to, say, tip over the ship or cause catastrophes within you know your vessel, your body, or your mind or your consciousness. If you do it gradually and then, and then turn back in the direction that you want to go, it's much easier. So there's really no end to how many times we need to be reminded and and reaffirm who we are, what our power is. So I really am really excited about this online store. And as you've probably heard, if you've been listening to the podcast, I had chosen to call it Enhancing the Human Experience Store after the podcast. And I thought that was a good fit. But this past week, I had a premonition. Again, once I once I went to the end goal and looked at the the entire structure of the things that I'm building here on the online presence and my business, I had this premonition that, you know, Mark, you should really call this something that's about your brand that has your name integrated in with it instead of enhancing the human experience. And not because I foresee one day when I might not do the show, which is certainly conceivable, but mainly because it more builds the brand, my brand in a better way and puts me in the direction that I want to go. And so you might be able to relate to this if you've if you're building something of your own and if or if you have built something and you can realize that the way you build it really does play a part in in the grander scheme, right? We're we're all like cosmic builders and the way we build stuff matters. The way we put things together matters. And that's why it's really so important to live in the end. Like I 
like I mentioned. And it can be challenging. It definitely can be challenging because when we're building, we're in the now, we're in the moment right now, and we're using the tools and like feeling energetically and and thinking consciously about how we want this thing to look. And sometimes we forget to think of that end goal and think of how it looks from a broader perspective. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at is when we're building something, we're usually focused on a more narrow perspective and we're usually usually zoomed in to just a kind of a tunnel vision, kind of a narrow look at what we're doing. And one thing that I found this past week is the importance of pulling out to a really, really broad perspective, in fact, the most broad, infinitely broad perspective, and look at what we're building in the cosmic scheme of things, or in, maybe that's too much, maybe that's too far, but really pulling out a lot and seeing where where we're building and how we're building something, and if it is all aligned with what we want for our, for like the end goal, right? Living in the end. And I get that from Neville Goddard. He always said to live in the end. Speaking more from a consciousness standpoint, get the consciousness of the things or experiences that you want to have, and then act from that and think from that and feel from that and really operate your life from the end, which is super valid. But in this scenario, we're kind of looking at it a little differently, but maybe not so much, right? Any, everything is energy, everything is a state of consciousness, and so it all plays in there. So I had this premonition this past week to change the name of the online store from Enhancing Human Experience to just my initials, GMP, which is something that I had thought about early on as I was building the store. It, it definitely crossed my mind earlier, but I dismissed it and thought, well, this is more appropriate because the podcast already has momentum and it already has, you know, the, uh, a name for itself. Why not just attach the store to the podcast, which which is valid, right? It, this is something that, my, that I really believe in, sharing this knowledge and interviewing people and having them share their knowledge with you. And so it's definitely in alignment, but... When I had this premonition to change the the name, it there was something that was more it was more aligned with the end game, with the bigger picture, and it felt a little more right. And that's the thing about life is that we can we're always going through these motions of feeling into our end goal or designing the life, like we're using the help from the universe, right? We're using these sensory perceptions that we have, sometimes extrasensory perceptions, to design the life that will ultimately, you know, get us where we want to be, fulfill our mission. This kind of goes back to the ikigai um, reason for being, the Japanese reason for being. You know, we want to build that our life in the best way so we can have full total expression, be of value and benefit to the world, um, share beneficial messages, right? Things that have helped us and then things that we feel will help other people. So we want to build build this thing in the right way. And so I had this notion to change the name of the store, which mind you, I guess I should back up a little bit and, and share with you. The store was all built. The domain was all in place. Emails were all set up. Everything was built for this infrastructure. And changing it is a little bit of a chore. However, not as much of a chore given the fact that we live in the digital era where we can change things fairly quickly as opposed to, you know, years ago when it was much more arduous to change infrastructure that we've built around something, in this case, an online store. So it wasn't insurmountable, but it definitely set me back some time this week, which is one of the reasons why I'm only doing an audio podcast of today's show, because I didn't want to go through the put the time in to do the, do the video feed. It takes a little bit more effort to do that. So that's what happened to me this week. And I, I hope that in my sharing that story with you, that you can learn something, gain something, and apply it to something that you're, whatever you're building in your own life and for your business. And that notion to always remember to live in the end, which is something that I was reminded of this week. And Another thing that cropped up, and this was something that was kind of interesting, is when I had that premonition early on to build 
the store around my name instead of enhancing the human experience. This was months ago when I w- was initially developing the idea. You know, the thing that cropped into my mind was, well, you haven't earned it yet. You don't have name recognition, which on some level is true, which on another level is totally bogus, right? And so that was one of the major factors that shut that idea down. And while that is very true, that right there should have been a red flag. If I was paying attention or if I was on my game, as I should have been, I would have dismissed that immediately because that's not living in the end. That's applying a condition to something that I'm building and a condition that is, in the grand scheme of things, not accurate because we we really want to never condition what we're doing based on a belief that is inherent in race mind, right? If we, if we want to be able to transcend the limitations that we're operating in or we operate in most of the time when we're building something, and that way we get a divine result and we get a divine outcome and even an outcome, maybe it doesn't have to be divine, but it's right for us. And we're not listening to the known, to the rules of the road or the uh, how to do things that are, again, race consciousness. And we're transcending that. This is why little kids have the ability to build and create amazing things and dream like nobody's business is because they're, they're not conditioned yet to the rules of mankind. And I say rules kind of in in quotes, air quotes, because they really are. They're sometimes bogus, right? When you say, well, you don't have the name recognition, you, you're this, that, and the other thing. Well, and ultimately it doesn't matter. As a cosmic builder, which we all are, none of those things matter. The race consciousness, race mind, mortal mind, none of those things matter because we're building something that's unique for us and an offering that we share with other people. And ultimately at the end of the day, you know what? It does not matter. We have to bring all those rules down and throw them all out the window if we want to build something that's true and like has the essence of our divinity, which we all carry with us and we're all, you know, tasked with expressing in the world. And so right then and there, it should have been a red flag, but it just didn't dawn on me at that point in time. And, you know, it's just one of those things you can, you can kind of, um, go back and question it or put it behind you and move forward, which I've chosen to do and make the changes. So the changes are underway. Still the content and the, I guess the apparel and products are not going to change. That's the same message that I've always shared. It's just the facade and the front of the store and the name of the store. And of course the website and stuff like that. Fairly easy changes in the digital era just takes a little bit of time, right? Um, so that's one of the things I wanted to share today in hopes that you can remember to live in the end with the things that you're building and don't make the mistake that I did in in saying to yourself, well, I haven't earned it yet or I don't, yeah, that's not for me or I haven't got permission yet. That's another big one. And Seth Godin talks about this in his work in his awesome little essay, Ship It. No, it's called Pick Yourself. Excuse me. He has another body of work called Ship It. And that's awesome in and of itself, which is all about getting the thing out the door, right? And then refining it on the way uh, after you get it published. But Pick Yourself is about not waiting for permission because no one's going to give you permission. We've been conditioned to wait for permission because of society, culture, and the education system to wait for permission to be picked before we do our thing. And so once we realize that's never going to happen, you'll wait your whole life if you want to wait for permission, then you just go out and do it. So my hope is that you don't fall into the trap that I fell into of not feeling that you are worthy of putting your name on a on a brand or a product, and two, not waiting for permission, those kind of things. Um, again, not a huge setback in the grand scheme of things, but just something that I was working on this past week in changing things over to be GMP, products and apparel for conscious creators, instead of enhancing the human experience store. So it's just something that I think is important to think about quite quite often and was a, a real, um, I want to say, enlightening moment for me this past week as I went through that process. And a good reminder to always live in the end and don't condition what we're doing and question stuff like that, which maybe that's just something that I face. Um, it, but 
you know, I think it's part of the human experience in general, you know, as we push into our goals and dreams and and reach toward what we want, you know, we still have have some of these tentacles or baggage that we're carrying with us. And as we shed that off, the, our journey gets a lot easier for one, and we move a lot faster for, for two. So hopefully that's that's beneficial and you'll be able to apply that in your own life. But look for the kind of rebranding of the store coming very soon within the next few days or so. And I'll be pushing forward with that um, name of the store in the future. So anyway, that's the show. I want to wrap it up at that point. Until next time, all the best, health, wealth, and success. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.